Hey yo, man, what's good with it, man? It's your boy GVO Shades, man, and we back. You feel me? We back with another story time, bro. But before we do that, go ahead and smack that thumbs up, man. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit that subscribe button already. But in the meantime, in between time, man, we about to get into the story time, man. Let's get it. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. So I'm in the crib, right? I'm playing Call of Duty Zombies. And I'm going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, bruh. I'm going dumb. Nope. <laughs> bruh, it's like round 50 something. Big game. And then boom, power goes out, bruh. And legit five to 10 minutes later, <laughs> Taco cheeseburger stand, huh, man? Help you. Yeah, let me get a taco cheeseburger without the taco. <laughs> Bro, you stupid, man. What's good, though? You know I had to go along with that real quick, man. You know I did, bro. But yeah, man, I was just calling to see if y'all power went out. Because uh, our power went out over here, bro. Did y'all power go out? Yeah, it did. Man. Matter of fact, I right, bet, bet, I got you. I'll see what's up. Me being young and dumb on top of being bored because now I don't got no games to play. And then you got mom, mom Dukes that, that worked crazy hours and it was in between sports seasons. Bro, I ain't had nothing to lose. I'm gonna say life. It's just me, little bro, and my older siblings in the crib. So grounded or not, you are a snow what that mean, bruh. We outside! I put on all black as if it really mattered. I mean, all I really got to do is just get naked, lay in the grass, and close my eyes, and not smile, of course. And I'll be straight, right? Hold up. Wait a minute. Big pause, bruh. Anyways, I got on my all black, feeling untouchable. You feel me? Foot tall, man. But yeah, man. Then I commenced to walking out the door. I get the bro spot, right? And there's already two others sitting on the porch chilling, smoking K2 and drinking for a loco. Hey yo, what the f Gosh to be more careful, bro. Anyways, I say what's up and then I walk into the crib looking for bro and he upstairs sorting through what looks to me like an arsenal of weapons. And bro, when I tell you, that joint was better than a candy store. Man, I mean, matter of fact, better than any store at that matter because I ain't got pay for shit. And then he starts explaining to me what we about to get into for the night. Since we ain't got no lights, we gonna go light this up ourselves. Deep down, my soul was saying, No. But physically, mentally, I was all in. Let's go. I was grabbing all types of ish, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Mortars, smoke bombs, bottle rockets. Bro gave me this bag for my stuff. And he gave me a kitchen lighter and this big old Paul Blart flashlight, bruh. You know what I'm saying? But we was we was ready. You know what I'm saying? The only thing we had to do was get everybody else on board. But of course one chickened out. You know what I'm saying? The other one went upstairs and grabbed like three things. Scary ass. <laughs> but at this point, it's time to go. We out and about, right? And me and bro number one, we over here plotting, you know what I'm saying? Planning on how we gonna light it up. And all you hear is Shit. Bro number two then sparked one of his three and we just took off, bro. Out of there, bro. Out of there. And boy, when I tell you, boy, when I was on my Barry Island, boy, I was on my Barry Island. You feel me? The speed force just came to me. You know what I'm saying? So back to the story, man. So we get like two blocks over, right? And we all decide to spark one up and throw that joint up in the air in the same time, right? Now my chose to use a mortar, right? Now you know them things are a little bit unpredictable without the two. So I spark my joint up, right? And I throw my joint up with everybody else, but that joint hits a tree and comes right back down and rolls under a car. Mind you, we already beaten feet out of there. But I only know that the mortar rolled under a car because when I look back, that car was lit up like a Christmas tree. Luckily, there was no fires. At least I hope not. 
But at this point, we didn't been out for about a we didn't been out for about an hour now, setting off smaller stuff all over. You know what I'm saying? And for some dumbass reason, we end up over by 7-Eleven. Big mall cop flashlight in hand with a kitchen lighter in hand. And mind you, I'm black, wearing all black. Man, when we go to what the hell you mean we? I mean, well, when I say we, I mean me. My dumb ass, when I go to light up another mortar, bruh, and throw it in the parking lot, the other two over here talk about, wait, 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 stop, cop, but it is too late. The fuse is lit, you know what I'm saying? And they already gone. The cop looks me dead in my soul as I still got the mortar still in my hand with luckily this long ass fuse in my hand still lit up. I drop it right where I was, take off running. All you hear. I bust that first lap, <clears throat> and all you hear is run, run. I don't know who that was, but thank you for the support. I'm running. I throw the bag. You know what I'm saying? But I still got the flashlight and I still got the lighter in my hand, and I'm still in all black. I hit the field. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I get to the main road, I bust that right. As soon as I bust the right, all you hear is. This bit and took the cruiser off road. It came through the field, dumping out the window like. Bah, 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 bah. So I get little. You know what I'm saying? I get little. You know what I'm saying? And then literally five seconds later, bro, I notice I'm hitting my leg, bro. It's like, nah, I'm exaggerating. But yeah, man. Like he came through, he drove the cruiser through the field, bro. And in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, I'm around the corner already. I'ma just stop. In my mind, in my mind. Young, remember I said young and dumb. In my mind, I'm like, okay, stop running, just walk normal. You know what I'm saying? I did that. But of course I still got this big ass mall cop flashlight in this freaking kitchen lighter in my hand. And need I remind you, I am wearing all black. So as soon as he gets to the main row, he speeds up and puts his bright ass side lights on. You know them real bright little flat, not the red and blue lights, but like the white jumps when they searching for somebody. He puts them jokes on and yells over the little intercom Jones like, yo, hey, you, you stop right now. I kept walking like I ain't hear him and cut through this abandoned parking lot that was fenced in thinking that fence was going to keep me safe. You know what I'm saying? Because I plan to take off again. But as soon as I looked back, his partner that was in the passenger seat was already out on foot. I looked back and boom. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Takes me down and arrests me, man. Well, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> so fast forward, we at the station. I get printed. You know what I'm saying? I get my very own selfie. I thought it was pretty nice of them to take a picture of me. Really, nigga? But yeah, they going down the list of complaints that they've gotten from people all night. You know what I'm saying? And just ask me why. That's it. Why? And all I said was I was bored. I was on like round 50 something to Call of Duty Zombies. And then the power went out and I needed something to do. But I was dead at, bro, when I tell you I was dead ass serious, all he did was laugh and ask me did I have somebody to call. Because basically, long story short, he told me all I was gonna get was a fine for using illegal fireworks in city limits. But obviously I couldn't be the one to pay her to get myself out the situation because I'm young and I don't got a job. You know what I'm saying? So the only person I could call was my mom that was currently at work two hours away. You know what I'm saying? Or I could call my grandfather. But anybody that knows me or knew my grandfather, God rest his soul, you know what I'm saying? I would have got my ass toe up. So I, I end up calling my mom, bro. And the officer lets me talk to my mom, right? She must have known or something. Because, bruh, when I tell you she was already pissed as soon as she heard my voice. She was already pissed. So what I do? <laughs> there you go. I gave him the phone and he explained the situation that was going on. And when they got off the phone, all he said was she said she's on her way and she is not happy. So I'm in a holding cell. I'm asleep. Gone. I'm out of there. And she finally gets there. I guess they do all they talking or whatever while I'm asleep on the outside or whatever. But um, she finally walks into the uh, holding cell with the officer and smacks me upside my head and says, Get your behind up. You don't think do the stink, do you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then the officer, you know what I'm saying, unhandcuffs me off the bench or whatever. And me, I ain't had shit to say. I ain't had nothing to say, bro. Nothing to say. But surprisingly, she didn't even react the way that I thought she was gonna react. But it was still pretty drastic for me at the age that I was. 
You know what I'm saying? She got the paperwork that she needed to get. We ended up going home. And literally, bro, she took my TV. She took my game system. She freaking, what else she take? She took my little brother's PSP. Cause, you know what I'm saying? My little brother, he stayed at his dad's on the weekend. So, yeah, like, if he gone, I'm going to be playing his game. You know what I'm saying? You take my game, I'll play his game. She took that joke and she flipped the doorknob, bro. And, was, and then told me I could only come out the room when it was time to eat or if I had to use the bathroom shower, like necessities. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, stay my ass in the room. I was on lock. You know what I'm saying? That joint lasted for about like a month. I ain't gonna say a month. It was probably like two weeks. Two weeks to a month. It just felt it just felt like a long time. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and snap that thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? If you want a story time number three, get this video to 100 likes, man. All you got to do is share it to your social media, whatever you got to do. Tag a friend, cousin, sister, don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? But we on the road to 500 subscribers, and when we get there, we doing a giveaway. You feel me? That's big facts like Snapple Caps. But in the meantime, in between time, it's your boy GVO Shades, man, and I'm out! And I'm on my way, I can feel some days my day. I just wanna be the one to make it up Cause everybody in my city in competition With everybody trying to get it, I get it Human nature but it's condescending to say that they ain't shit It's a contradiction to the obvious fact That we ain't that different To the obvious fact that we ain't that different